hey youtube what's up it's your girl alicia jones and i'm back again with a new video and in today's video y'all can already see from the title but first i want to thank y'all for tuning in because you could have clicked on any other video but you chose to click on this one so thank you guys so much so back to the intro but um as you guys can see from the title i'm going to be trying shea moisture's wig and weave now this is for human and synthetic hair it's with tea tree and barrage seed oil never heard of that oil it's a flyaway and wrap mousse with um aloe vera i picked this up from my um target actually i was gonna say my local beauty supply because i'm so used to saying that i picked this up from target um so it's no parabens no mineral oil no animal testing no petroleum none of that but this is what it looks like let me show y'all real quick um so yeah yes girl so usually if my crochet hair is getting unruly or i need to tame it i go in with this mousse which is figure all the olive oil or the blue one and if i don't have this on hand i go in with lot of body which is the blue mousse and i got a battle which i did lot of body versus cream of nature so if y'all interested in checking out out y'all can but um it's not even late but i'm ready to start getting ready for bed it's friday night it is currently 5 51 i'm about to do my crochet routine and hop in the tub and just relax chill bye bye but i wanted to do my routine with this so let me tell you guys what it says about what all this can do so eliminate flyaways for a flawless straight look or add volume back to a curly style using our flyaway and wrap mousse great for human and synthetic braid extensions too our water-based formula enriched with tea tree oil, barrage oil, barrage seed oil, and aloe vera works to smooth strands for straight styles. You can use this on dry styles, you can use this on wet styles, but this is what it looks like. And it's kind of like an olive oil-like color. So, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go in and take out um i'm gonna go in and detangle the hair and take out all of the you know straggly matted parts the hair that i'm currently wearing is lulu tress's beach curl and i am on week two so uh i will be taking this out soon but before i take it out i'm gonna be doing a review but um i'm taking it out because we going on a road trip hey so let me take this stuff out and then what i want to do is because this hair is kind of matted right now it don't look like i had it up for two weeks it looks like i had it up for s probably five six maybe so let me see what i could do to work with this i'm gonna cut out the stragglies come back and then i'm going to show you guys that because y'all don't need to see all the cutting of the stragglies and all that because i've done a video on my actual crochet routine which i'll link that below too if you guys are interested and seeing that but it's a lot of knots and stuff so y'all can stay tuned for a review all right y'all so i don't know why i said i'm gonna I'm i wanted to detangle this one section but i haven't even opened this i haven't tried it out i ain't smelled it i wanted to do it on a uh, camera with you guys so okay i want to smell it oh it smells it smell good. It smell like men's cologne, but not strong. Not as strong. Okay. But the thing about with this mousse, like it's melting like instantly. Y'all see how flat it's getting? Okay, so. And I'm gonna come back in the morning and see if my hair changed at all. Cause you say you can use it on synthetic hair. And I saw that I was like, wig and weave? Shh, let me go ahead and tried and did when I saw that
Okay, y'all, I don't even know why I didn't even show you guys like what the hair is looking like currently at this moment. But I'm hoping to like bring it back a little bit with this move. So right now, as you can see, uh, this part has completely straightened. Um, but so those are what the ends looking like. As y'all can see, it's hanging all over the place. And this is much needed because... The hair is irritating me the way like these parts like here, they're tickling me and they're annoying and some of the parts are matted and tangled. So I just wanted to show you guys this. So this is what it looks like right now. So tomorrow when I come back on here, I'm hoping that it'll be a little bit better, okay? All right, y'all, so I'm all finished. And this is what the twist look like. So I'm going to get my extra large bonnet and then deal out for the rest of the night. I'm going to come back on her tomorrow and then I'm going to show y'all what the hair looks like. We shall see if it helped this crochet hair or not. All right, y'all. So it is the next day. I don't know what the heck I did to my makeup, but it looks so crazy. Anyways, you guys, don't look at it. But um, this is the next day. I still got my hair in the twist. I just threw a ponytail, threw them in a ponytail and then just... Put them up in the bonnet like that i took out a lot of tangleness i took out a lot of matted hair but this is definitely a hair that you cannot just leave you gotta like probably go in and detangle it because that was the first time in the two weeks that i went in and um the tangle did and cut the matted out just to be honest with you guys like it's not a hair that you can just put up in your bonnet and just be like, cool, you got to work with this hair. But it is easier to just separate the hair than it was last night. I don't know what the heck is up with this little piece right here. But I wanted to show y'all what it looked like. But I'm about to take all this down and then I'm going to come back, you guys. All right, y'all. So this is the hair. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay, so this is the hair. I feel like I should do a side by side so you guys can see. But um, this is it. It definitely feels a, a lot more softer than, did I forget a twist? I did. I was wondering why it felt a little thinner. But it definitely feels a lot more softer than it did when I first came on her last night. Like last night the hair was really dry and it was a lot of but it's definitely a lot softer it smells so fresh it smells so good it definitely has a men's fragrance to it but it's it's really good the hair feels softer i really for real cannot tell if it looks different but it does feel different and it's easier for me to run my fingers through than it was yesterday because yesterday i was like trying to pull my fingers through it but I mean, as you guys can see, it's still a couple of snags. I'm just going to be honest with y'all. It's still a couple. But I wasn't hoping that it was going to get rid of the tangles. But it definitely feels very soft. Very soft. Oh, and where's that straight part that I was trying to show y'all? Because it was a straight part over here. It's still straight. It, feel, it looks like it got a little bit of curl left to it. I mean, I like this product. Uh, I probably will use this on this hair again. But for future, um, for the future, I'm going to stick with my Vigoral or my Lotta Body. Because the Lotta Body, it just did, it does for my crochet hair, even though it's synthetic. The reason why I got this is because it says for human and synthetic hair. So, and I gotta link how much it costs. I can't even remember how much I paid for it. But you guys, I like it. I would recommend it for your synthetic hair. Um, My hair feels so much more softer than it did yesterday. And uh, this is the next day, so I just left the twist up overnight. And yeah, so I like it. I, the smell is a little, it's the smell is a little different because I didn't, I've never had a product for my weave that smelled like men's cologne, but I like it. I would recommend it. I would recommend it. I feel like I want to see how my crochet hair does at the end. So if y'all going to see that, you're going to stick 
um, stick or look forward to the review for the final review for this crochet hair, which I'll be doing next week, which will be the third week right before I take this out. And I'm in week two. But anyway, you guys, that is pretty much it for this video. I would recommend this to kind of like bring your crochet hair back to life because mine feels so much better. It don't give a shine to it. Like a lot of body gives a shine to your crochet hair, to me. That's like, this is my review, whatever. But uh, yeah, so yeah, guys. I would recommend it to bring your crochet hair back to life. So, yeah, guys, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.